Are you happy, Aaron? I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling good. In a happy place? I'm in a happy place. Let's do it then. Are you ready? I'm ready. Welcome to CB Chill! Yay! Welcome everybody to another edition of CB Chill. I think we're in week eight. We are wow. in week eight. Wow, wow, wow. Well um, so this week in CB Chair, we have got um, four features for you packed in. It's mainly the, what we've got this week. We are going to be looking at um, a behind the scenes look from Chris and Yvonne at how they put the worship session together. That's We're going to be looking, uh, we've got some of the young people from our church on, and they're going to be drawing pictures of you and me, Aaron, and have a little competition with that. Yep. We've got an older member of our congregation, we've got Pam Wooden coming to join us. And she's going to be telling us about how she's found using technology at this time and joining us for things with Zoom. Hero. Uh, we've got, hero. <laughs> yeah, and we've got Naomi Rollins. She's going to bring us some coping strategies for dealing with um, kind of stress and, and of all this situation, really, how we can stay calm and get through this um, in, with some good tips. So um, we've got her coming up as well. But before any of that, Aaron... Yeah, uh, so we've got some good news, uh, things to think about. But uh, Phil, before we begin, have you have you heard that we've got there's 15 uh, McDonald's opening across the land? Do you know how <laughs> we've got three in Chelmsford that are opening? Three <laughs> new ones? No, no, no. As in they're reopening. As in they're going to be open for business. There's three McDonald's in Chelmsford. I'm not sure what that says about Chelmsford, if I'm honest. <laughs> so they're already in Chelmsford. I didn't even know there was three McDonald's in Chelmsford. <laughs> I'm not running the town centre. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I got sent through some uh, some pretty funny pictures from uh, signs outside churches in America. Do you want to see some? Yeah, go for it. Okay, here we go. So this one uh, is from Edgewood uh, Congregational Church. It says, service cancelled, God making house calls. <laughs> We've got this one. Uh, what's not cancelled? Nature, puzzles, chalk drawing, love and hope, which is always helpful. Uh, this one says, uh, wash your hands and say your prayers, because Jesus and germs are everywhere. <laughs> Grace Church says, wasn't expecting to give this much up for Lent. <laughs> um, this one says, Jesus cleans the heart and we disinfect the pew. Um, for those churches with pews, very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, one, <laughs> this one I think is worded badly. <laughs> it says, take care of each other, share toilet paper and pray. What? <laughs> I think they missed out unused. <laughs> unused. Yeah, okay. Um, moving swiftly on. <laughs> um, right, we, uh, yeah, we were sent a video um, from Chris and Yvonne about the, so these guys are doing the CBC Worship Lounge, which is great. We've been really enjoying their videos we that we're doing for Sunday. So thank you, Chris and Yvonne. They've just sent in a little video about the process of making that and what goes into it. So uh, let's give that a watch. Yep. Some of you have already worked out that all is not quite what it seems with our weekly worship videos. So, we thought we'd take you on a journey and give you a peek behind the scenes. Our Sunday afternoon walk over the fields and the woods at the back of our house helps us to begin to explore where we may head with the worship for the following week. Our downstairs study has become a makeshift studio with very basic equipment. This means that we are only able to record one instrument or voice at a time. We begin by recording the basic track of guitar and piano. Yvonne then adds strings on the keyboard to give the overall sound a lift. Then Chris adds a bass part to give the music a bit more depth. Sometimes we add extra instruments, like the violin and clarinet last week for the instrumental break in What a Beautiful Name. And the tambourine and shaker for Lord I Lift Your Name on High on Easter Sunday. Then it's time to record the vocal parts, with Yvonne adding some harmony here and there. And once Chris has mixed all the parts together on the computer, we go into the lounge to shoot the video by playing along to our track. We also give some thought to the opening welcome and call to worship, 
before finally adding the song words to the video. We then send the whole thing to Phil and Aaron, ready for Sunday morning. And there it is, a brief glimpse behind the scenes at the CBC Worship Lounge. And as for funny outtakes, well, maybe we'll save that for another time. Do you think? That was really brilliant. Good. Thank you guys so much for yeah. doing what you do. It's absolutely brilliant. There's a lot of work goes into that, isn't there, in the week? Um, and uh, we know how long it takes there, don't we, to make videos and do this kind of thing. Um, and all the little three minute videos that people have put together as well for the reflections. It's only three minutes YouTube clip, but it takes a long time to come up with the ideas, to record it, put it together for people. So, really appreciate everyone who's doing that. and. For Chris and Yvonne for putting all this together and recording it for us each week for the worship and I know we've got one or two of our other worship leaders working on some of this as well now so hopefully we'll see a few different um, people over the next few weeks involved. But That'd be lovely. Great uh, while, while we are waiting we're going to have our young people join us in a second uh, but while Thank we're you. waiting I just want to mention this uh, there is an app that I saw this week that's um, called The Chosen Mm -hmm. uh, which is like a, it was a fundraisers thing in America that's about the life of Jesus. It's a video series and it's, it's come up with really high reviews, yeah, yeah. like really good reviews, yeah, that's, yeah. Um, which is amazing. So I haven't actually seen it yet, but I'm going to see if I can watch it this week. So it's an app called The Chosen. I watched a clip of it um, the other day. I haven't watched it through either um, and it looks really good quality. And I know that one or two of our members have seen it and said it's, it's good. So we'll check it out and see. Yeah. Yeah, there he is. Hey, Jacob. Hello. Welcome to Hello. CB Cheer. Ben, welcome to CB Cheer, mate. Thank you. It's an <laughs> honour to be here. <laughs> yes, it is, Ben. It is an honour. Well done. <laughs> How you doing, uh, Jacob? I'm good. Yeah, what have, you, what have you been doing with your time? Um, Sleeping most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you did some pretty good bread. I've seen some pictures. Have you? <laughs> Yeah, didn't you say your mum put some pictures up on Facebook of uh, the uh, bread that you've been doing? Or oh. it was bread, wasn't it? You I made um, cheesy red rolls a few days ago. Yeah, brilliant. I've been making <laughs> a few cakes as well. Hey, Amazing. Layla. Hey, Layla. Welcome. Welcome to the CB Chair. What about you, Ben? What have you been up to? Um, School work mostly chilling and trying to set up a new new keyboard that I bought which is not going particularly well oh wow you bought a new keyboard yeah it's only it's only a small one um it's something called a mid a midi synth synthesizer oh, yeah you plug it into your laptop and use it on a software to make music but it's not going very well so I'm probably gonna have to return it oh no well because it's broken or is it uh are you just <laughs> not able to wire it up properly <laughs> no it's not able to wire up properly it's not working oh uh, okay oh shame Oh, very good. Leila, what have you been up to this um, while you've been off? Uh, schoolwork. You've been schoolwork as well. Um, Jacob, you seem to be the only one not doing any work. You're just sleeping, you said, and everyone else... Yeah, my school hasn't set any work for the year 11s, so... All oh, right, OK. So, guys, you are going to need a, uh, a pen and uh, some paper, all right? Um, we're going to play a game. I'm... Uh, no idea how this is going to go. I don't know what your artistic ability is like. Um, oh, no. But uh, make sure you've got one of them. And what we need, uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to draw a picture of either Phil or I, right? Um, you're going to draw a picture of either Phil or I don't know how this is going to go. Um, but the rule is that once you've put your pen on the paper, you're not allowed to take it off. All right. Um, so I'm going to do it as well. Uh, so I'm going to do one of me or Phil. <laughs> It <laughs> depends on whether it's wearing glasses or not. Uh, Phil, how much time do you reckon these guys are uh, going to need to be able to do this? Um, to draw me, probably half an hour, you about a minute. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, fine. Let's do 60 seconds then. I'm going to do 60 seconds. That's fine. So let me just get 60 seconds on the clock. Um, oh, no. Okay, is everyone ready? We're going to go three, two, one, go. I'm really not sure what to make of mine, to be honest. Okay. Uh, who have you gone for? Have you gone for Phil or me? I've gone for you. Right. 
I've done both of you and it's really bad. <laughs> Layla, you've got 15 seconds to complete your masterpiece. Yeah. You, you all went for, you all went for Aaron. I think I've, I've done both. Feel, so. It's likely they feel slightly better about taking the mick out of me than you, mate. I don't know why. You know what I think it is? I think it's because the glasses give you an extra feature. Like, my face is just very plain. Your glasses... Right. That's your time. Hill, I, I'd, I'd say the facial hair gives Aaron the extra feature. Well, it does as well. That's true. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot. The thing is, if you're not allowed to take your pen off the paper, I've got lines that you can do between features and ears and stuff, whereas you don't have that, Phil. I mean, I... You, you have the um, indent of the lip that you can make into the nose. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> nice. That's, that's a good event. I like that. Good. I, I had to get the facial hair in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we going for next? Layla. Come on, Layla, let's see. Very good. That actually yeah. looks a little bit like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's that? that? That's Aaron. I've made sure I put the square for the there. Oh, for the beard thing. <laughs> it looks and like then... <laughs> on that piece of paper with glasses on. Oh, thanks. I also did. And that's me. Yeah. I look, I did. Like, um, I look like a ghost of some kind <laughs> in a horror movie without any eyes and mouth. I, I did the head and I'm like, oh no, I can't go to the mouth. Um, I actually think Ben's was um, probably the best out of those attempts. And Layla's was, was a kind of bigger version of... Hello. But it did remind me of Humpty Dumpty, Layla. It looked a lot like Humpty Dumpty. A little bit too much, but very close. Jacob, um, you're right, mate. You seem to have uh, cats climbing up your curtains. Yeah, the, the mum cat is begging all the four kittens to climb up. So, um, experience, guys, of being on lockdown, would you say it's a good experience and you're, you're enjoying this situation or a really bad experience and you're not enjoying it or don't really care? At the beginning, it was all right, but now it was just a bit tedious. Yeah. What are you missing most, Ben? Being able to leave my house. <laughs> <laughs> to do what? What are you missing most, being able to leave your Hockey. house? Hockey. Hey? Hockey. Hockey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What about you, Leila? Enjoying it, not enjoying it, or...? I enjoyed the first day, and now I'm on board. <laughs> <laughs> first day of lockdown excitement. First and then day was, was like a Saturday, and now I'm a bit bored. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are you missing most? Uh, my friends. Yeah, meeting up with friends and things. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, um, Jacob? As well, what are you? Um, how are you finding it? Um, first few days was okay because um, I've I've been used to not having school because I've been off from Christmas until March already. Yeah. So I basically had the entire year off school, but not being able to talk to people like in person and not going to junction and brigades and stuff. That's the bad part. Yeah, you really missed it. Yeah. Well, has um, cause, um so Aaron's been talking to you sometimes, hasn't he? On um, time Sunday, Sunday you've been meeting up, Aaron, with some of these guys. Yeah, so Sundays we've had uh, quizzes at about, um, so we did quizzes at 2 p.m. and then we've got Home Central at 7.30 in the evening. Ben, how far down your, so these arrived today, Phil. This is a uh, prize from the quizzes. We've moved from, we've moved from these prizes on to taking kind of tally of who's winning and then we're going to do a big kind of prize giving at the end. Right. Um, this was, Ben came first? Yeah. Was that? It was, you came first. So this is the first prize. Um, it's a kilogram of gummy bears. <laughs> How far down are you? <laughs> um, not very, because I've only just started them. Okay. But hopefully by Thursday, Friday, they'll be gone. So did you get them delivered then, Aaron? You had them sent to him? Yeah, so we promised on the quizzes, uh, we promised for the first two weeks that we'd be getting uh, prizes delivered from Amazon. So um, right. we, had, we had six prizes given out, um, and one of which is them. So uh, right. we just did. We did really well. Have you, and, uh, so has that been the highlight of all your week? The highlight of your week has been seeing Aaron on a Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening. Is that basically what it is, guys? I'll answer for them, mate. Yes, it has been. It's been incredible for them. 
Yeah, there you go. Well, we probably need to say goodbye in the traditional way. Yeah, the CB chair thing. You've all seen it, I presume. So, CB, come on, Layla, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> you're not going to do it. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. CB, bye. 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 There we go. Hold on, Layla. I, yeah, I tried to, I have to admit, I tried to keep my mouth shut right through that time so no one would attempt to draw my teeth. I didn't fancy that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, so let's say, if anyone else is watching this, then uh, that's your challenge for this week. See if you can, see if you can pause the video, uh, draw without taking your pen off, and then just send us in a picture. That'd be amazing, thanks. <laughs> Okay, you know, some people are going to cheat. They're going to draw a picture normally and say, yeah, I did it without taking my pencil off today. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. we've, we've, let's move from um, the younger people in our church to an older person in our church, but not too old. We have um, Pam Woodham coming joining us now. And Pam um, has been learning how to use technology. So, Pam. Hey, hello, Pam. It's good Hi. to see you. Hi, nice to you. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> well, we're joined by Pam Woodham, who has uh, been joining us. She's a member of our church and has been joining us on these um, different chats, coffee mornings, services, things like that. And um, Pam, it's all quite new to you that she's using this yes. same as a lot of people. When mm -hmm. did you first get um, uh, the ability to come online? Just before lockdown. Just before. I had a birthday in April. And uh, before that, they want, the children wanted me to have a tablet so that I could Skype other mm -hmm. members of the family so that I could keep in touch with my little grandchildren in London yeah. and also with my eldest son and others, you know. Yeah. So uh, it's so that, very, new, very new to me. Yeah. So that was good timing, getting it just before the lockdown, wasn't it? That was really good. It was. It was, yes. Yeah. Yes. And then coming on to Zoom, that of course has also been completely new to you, using these, these Zoom channels. Yes, definitely. Well, my granddaughter Joanna is yeah. the one who got me onto it and got me going and did, did whatever was... So all I have to do is, is um, go into Joanna's name and, and the, the things will come up and I know what to press, yeah. more or less. Yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> and you've done this for, you, you started doing this for the, so you could join in things that were happening at church? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, join in the, join in the service. And then after that to, uh, you know, the coffee mornings I've joined in. Yeah, yeah. So, so how are you finding it? Um, because a, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of people struggle kind of using technology. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a struggle because it's you've got to think all the time and, and sometimes because I can't see, you know, I haven't got a big screen, I only see four people at a time, mm -hmm. so I have to keep scrolling along to see who's there and who's not there sort of thing, but uh, it's better than nothing. Yeah, yeah. So, so for you, it's been a, a, it's although it's been difficult in kind of getting used to it. It's you're pleased that you've got it and you're able to do it and join us for things like coffee mornings and services. Yes, yeah, yeah. To chat to people and to see other members of the church, you know, that you're not seeing now, yeah. you're catching up with news. Yeah. Yes. Great, great. Well, thank you for doing it. Thank you for joining us and things. It's lovely to be able to. Right. Thank you. And obviously, up, people as well. Keep up the good work, then. Thanks, you. We, we will. We will. <laughs> okay. And thanks. Bye. To, well, that was good, wasn't it, Erin? Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> she's amazing, um, isn't she? She's uh, she's wonderful, and we have had quite a lot of our elder members of the congregation joining us on Zoom. So uh, it's been really good to see them making the, uh, you know, the effort too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I found it hard enough getting onto this in the first place, and I know quite a lot of people struggle with it but people have persisted and they've done it and it's it's so much it's so rewarding when you can chat to each other this way and, and yeah, meet absolutely. for services and coffee and things so it's good and our final video of uh the the set today is from naomi rollins and naomi sent in this video of ways in which um, she found it really helpful to cope 
during this time. When you're feeling stressed or kind of feeling a bit, um, you know, it's intense, it kind of helps to calm things. Anyway, she can explain it all. It's a really good little video that Naomi's done. We're going to show you an excerpt from it now. It's not the full thing. We've cut a minute or two off it. Um, but the full version is going to be on our website from Sunday. So you'll be able to watch that on the uh, CB Chelmsford website from Sunday. As well as our YouTube channel? Oh, sorry. That's exactly what I meant. The YouTube right, okay. I did wonder. I was like, it's going to surely it's, if it's a video, it's going on our YouTube channel. You can watch it on our, on our YouTube channel <laughs> from Sunday, CB Chelmsford. That's the one I mean. Thank you. There we go. Hi CBC Church, um, just wanted to share with you um, an idea or some ideas I had about how to relax and keep calm during this time of staying at home. So what I've got here is what I like to call a calming case. Um, so I'm going to share with you what's inside and um, some strategies for keeping calm. And um, obviously if you want to make it for your own, you could use anything, use a bag, a box, whatever you like. Uh, so uh, the first thing that I'm going to share with you that's in here is um, a book that I've made up of uh, some of my favourite Bible verses, Bible verses that have inspired me or uplifted me or calmed me um, and I've began to record them and so I'm going to just share a few of my favourites. Obviously some people highlight their Bibles and that's another way to make sure you can find your favourite ones really easily. So I'm going to read um, just a few of my favourites from um, the NIV, the first ones are taken from. So, um, with all your heart you must trust the Lord and not your own judgment. Always let him lead you and he will clear the road for you to follow. And that's from Proverbs 3. Lord, you establish peace for us. All that we have accomplished, you have done for us. And that's Isaiah 26. So I'd really recommend uh, that. That's been really helpful for me to come to. Um, another thing I've got in here is an adult mindful colouring book. So this one's Images of Grace and actually it contains Bible verses as well as pictures. Uh, there are loads available online so you can just choose one, have it delivered to your door and when you want that little moment of calm you can have a few minutes just to refocus your mind uh, using something like that. Uh, another way to gain a little bit of me time and to have some relaxation, obviously a uh, cup of tea, but uh, maybe go for one like a chamomile one which has ingredients in it specifically designed to help relax and calm. Um, another great ingredient to look out for of course is lavender, so things like a lavender spray to spray around your environment um, or a lavender hand cream can be really relaxing as well. Uh, two other little top tips are um, if you're around your home, really good idea to get a change of temperature or fresh air, which can be really relaxing. So it might be going for a walk, might be stepping into your garden or even just opening a window. Um, another way you can do this is by washing your hands in cold water or splashing your face with cold water. And that change of temperature can really just refocus us and help us calm down. Um, and also, if you're around your house, which of course we all are, uh, then a great thing to do is to choose a really simple household task of about 10 to 20 minutes. So it could be cleaning something in your kitchen, it could be emptying out a kitchen cupboard and reorganising it, it could even be cleaning out your sock drawer and reorganising that. But just the simple nature of it can refocus our mind and cleaning and organising are really calming things to do. Um, so I hope all those things have helped and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Yeah, well done, Naomi. Thank you for sending that in. And if anyone else would like to send us a, a, a feature video to show on CB Cheer, um, please do. We'd love to feature different members of our congregation. If you've got helpful tips for people or just you want to share something that's been going on or anything, just send it in to myself or Aaron and uh, we can use that. It'd be really good. If you'd like to come and feature on CB Cheer and do a little interview with us, let us know. We know there's some budding film stars out there, so just uh, get in touch. Um, so thank you to everyone today who's been involved and featured in our time. Um, I think that's all we've got for this week. We're not doing a Sydney challenge this week. Just we've run out of time, really. Leave it for next time. Yeah. Um, but thank you, everyone, for joining us. And we will see you next week on CB Bye! Bye. Bye.